Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifar. Today we got Reverse the Verse, a live show where our questions are answered from chat and spectrum. Here's what you need to know about the 100 Q&A, the Avenger rework, the other origin ships broken down into sections in 2 minutes and 37 seconds. First, the idea of other manufacturers having starters is not completely out of the question. The Avenger will get a standard nose hardpoint. The Avenger rework was more than just an enlargement of the base model because the canopy looks stupid at 120%. It was adjusted. There are no longer any plans to revisit the dual seat Avenger that was being toyed with over a year ago. Modularity is not completely off the table for the Avenger series, and the main T21 weapon may not be part of the rework. On to the 100 series. The 125A is a starter with two small size 1 hardpoints. It's not meant to go against frontline fighters and win. My suggestion is know your role and don't pick a fight that you won't win. The 100 series has the ability to scoop fuel. The mechanic is similar to the Starfare, but it won't be unique to this ship alone. We're going to get more information about this in the future. Being an origin ship, the 100 is said to have a very unobstructed view. Each hull is unique. The 100, 125A, and 135C each have unique features to make them true variants. They're not modular. There was never a plan to release a racing variant of the 100 series. The 100 will fit in exactly the same places as the 85X. The 100 series side door idea carries over from the old 300i design. Its wings are fixed in place and it'll handle somewhere between the Aurora and the Mustang series. Moving on to the 300. The 300 series is going to look very different when the rework is launched, mainly because the current model won't allow for a player to easily place cargo in the cargo area. I would expect the 300 to look more like the 85X but that's just how I interpreted his answer. The 300 was the starter ship, however with time and expanding fleets, the 300 is growing up and it made sense to add the 100 series to flesh out the lineup and bring in a little bit more balance. The 300 has already had its first part of the rework in the form of a soft update, otherwise known as bigger hardpoints. On to the 600 series. The 600 series is the basic shape that's being used to design all other origin ships. These are based on free flowing lines that don't terminate. The cargo on the 600i exploration module was reaffirmed that the rover occupies some of the cargo, leaving some extra space. Remove the rover and you get more cargo space. The 600i exploration and the Connie Aquila don't fill the same niche even though they seem to. The Connie offers firepower, a snub fighter and more cargo. The 600i is going to operate better with fewer players. There you go, fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.